I will mentor you, I teach you, whatever, but you have to, you know, relax with me, have fun, enjoy, you know. You're listening to Harvey Weinstein in full flight. Part of this secretly recorded audio from 2015 has only just been released. What? A massage, something. No, I'm, I'm, I'm shy. I know, but a massage, something nice. Cold, hard evidence of Weinstein pressuring a young woman into his hotel room. Uh, is he on the bar? No, he must come here now. Not today, maybe. No. A little bit. I please. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll see. Threatening her and her career. If you don't trust me, then we have no reason to do anything and you will lose big opportunities. Harvey Weinstein paid $1 million to have that audio destroyed, and it's pretty obvious why. It shows just how sleazy and manipulative the movie mogul could be. But that was just a taste of his tactics, as the woman you heard there, Amber Badalana, found out. Intimidation, attack dogs, media manipulation, they were all part of his arsenal to abuse and silence vulnerable young women. But as you'll see, this victim outsmarted Weinstein. Amber moved to New York at the age of 22 to further her modeling career, and soon after was headhunted by Harvey Weinstein for a casting at his office. That morning, it quickly became clear that while she was there for work, he was there for pleasure. I kept saying, Oh, so nice to see you again, so nice to see you again. And anyway, there was a moment he stared at me and asked me, is your breast real? And I'm like, what? Y yes. First, it was Weinstein's eyes on Amber. Quickly, it was his hands. It was first my breast and then he put his hand on my leg and tried to kiss me. So yeah, it was very fast. <laughs> like, I couldn't even react. Amber was horrified and fled the office soon after breaking down in tears and then going straight to police. When I spoke to the police guy, I said, Harvey Weinstein assaulted me and he answered again, and I'm like, what do you mean again? This happened before? Police were desperate to land the big fish, so asked Amber to take a huge risk. They wanted her to wear a wire and meet Weinstein for a drink at a hotel bar the very next night. I was so distressed, but I really want people to believe me. Like, it was my voice of a 22-year-old model against, you know, that powerful person. It's like David and Goliath. Why did you say that you touch my priest? Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Come on. Are you used please. to that? Yes, come in. Please come in on everything. I'm a famous I'm, guy. I'm feeling please. very uncomfortable right please now. Please come in now. I will never do another thing to you. Five minutes. Don't ruin your friendship with me for five minutes. It's amazingly brave that you, that you managed to record this because when you listen to, to Harvey in that mode, he's scary. <sighs> yeah, it is scary. I mean, you have um, big, strong men in front of you and you know that is aggressively pushing with his words, but for sure at one point is gonna push with his body. This recording was exactly what police needed. They brought Weinstein in for questioning the following day, but he fought fire with fire, spearheading a salacious smear campaign in the media to intimidate and discredit his victim. She once filed a sexual assault suit against a 70-year-old, quote, sugar daddy. It worked. Amber found herself under siege when she met with the district attorney's sex crimes chief a few days later. 
first moment I saw her, I said, great, she's a woman. First question she asked me, were you a prostitute? And I'm like, what, sorry? Did you hear the recordings? And, and she's like, yeah, I heard that, but could you answer me these questions? Have you ever had a whole boyfriend? It must have felt like that was Harvey Weinstein's own personal lawyer attacking you at that stage. Yeah, I, I walked out of that room and I said inside my head, that's not good. That's not gonna be good. And she was right. Weinstein once again turned to the dark arts, this time paying a friend of the district attorney to dig up dirt on Amber and feed it back to the DA's office. Not long after that, the investigation was dropped. Eventually, Amber caved to the constant intimidation and harassment and signed a non-disclosure agreement in return for $1 million. Another victim had been silenced, or so they thought. For signing this NDA, they asked me to destroy every single piece of evidence of those recordings. They underestimated you. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Very much. I need to know a person's I won't touched. do a thing. Thankfully, before submitting to their demands, Amber downloaded a secret copy of the recording and hid it under lock and key for more than two years. Now, she's violating that million dollar gag order to share her story and this rare piece of evidence with us tonight. Her message is clear. She will do whatever it takes to show the world that Harvey Weinstein is a twisted and dangerous man. When you were finally able to, to release that audio mm -hmm. and show everyone just what Harvey Weinstein was like, how empowering did that feel? I think that day I smiled for 20 hours straight. <laughs> and me thinking more than myself of all the other women. I did something that helped others. And that's what I, you know, was most proud of myself for doing. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.